Okay, today we have a fun Dollar Tree Valentine sign. The heart shape is from Dollar Tree. You'll need some tissue paper, also from Dollar Tree. Mod Podge. This cute gnome came from Michael's Clearance. And now we can get started. So all we're gonna do is apply a thin layer of Mod Podge onto the wood. When you're working with Mod Podge, it's best to do a thin layer. But I'm going to show you a quick tip on how you can do this without wrinkles. So just apply the Mod Podge everywhere to the edges, making sure that you cover the surface. Of course, I missed a spot. Then remove the tissue paper. Isn't this cute? It says Happy Valentine's Day all over. So we're going to apply that on there. Get it as straight as possible. Move it around or lift it, make it as smooth as possible. But my tip is this cute little craft iron with a piece of parchment paper folded up works wonderfully. It takes all the wrinkles out. So now everything is smooth. I'm going to cut away the excess. Just go around the edges. You'll be able to sand off later, so get it as close as possible. Plenty more tissue paper to use for other projects. So now that we have that, I apply one more coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal it. Then you let your Mod Podge dry and then once it's dry, you can start applying your gnome. So I just found this heart, something else from Dollar Tree's Reets, cut it down to size, glued it to the little hat. Isn't he cute? And now, once I have that where I want it, I'm gonna apply it to the board. So now that the Mod Podge is dry, you can go ahead and sand off any extra paper. Take your gnome, apply some hot glue, and stick him to the board. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a bow. I have this mini Bodabra, it works. You can, you know, also just stack up your ribbons, or I'm sure there's other ways of doing a ribbon, but this is easy for me. You just cut off various uh, ribbon. I'm using red. This is ribbon that I got from Michaels. I'm loving the polka dots this year, so I have that. And just, you know, make it as big or small as you want it. So you just stick all the ribbons in there Stacking them up in no specific order. Again, it just kind of keeps it all together when you're ready to make your bow. And I'm just varying polka dots, solids, and so forth. And then you just stick this down, cinch it, and then you take your piece of this is a part of a ribbon and then you just make a really tight knot and then this way everything just stays together once you have that you can just trim off any excess I made it a little too big so I'm just gonna keep trimming doing what I need to to make it look pretty with that I'm just making some dovetails Again, however you want to do it. Once you have all of that, you just take your board. And so now, again, more trimming. <laughs> it's always easier when you put it on the board to kind of see what you're doing. Once I have it where I like it, now I'm just going to make a hanger. I just took another piece of ribbon. I hot glued it to the front and then looped it around and hot glued it to the back. Mm 
You can use the jute that they gave you originally with the sign too. And then I just apply the ribbon and spread your ribbon out a little. And you're all set. So if you're looking for more DIYs, check out BeInspiredMarket.net. Thanks for